Let's talk about layouts in subtitle edit and why I think these are game changers, especially if you create social media videos where you need to add captions, especially band in captions. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, by default, this is the layout we have in subtitle edit. Now, I'm using subtitle edit 4.0.3. This is what it looks like. And this is a default. What happens when you're working with vertical videos? Now, I'll click on this, open a video, get a vertical video, and then open. Previously, you just see your video in the preview window here with black sides right about here. Uh, it's not the most ideal, but it would be awesome to have a good representation of how your video is going to look like in the end. So, enter layouts. You can find the layouts right about here. And if I click on them, you'll see that there are about 12 layouts that you can choose from different layouts with video, without video, without waveform, and so on and so forth. But of importance to us, more or less, what I've played around with is uh, the layout number three and layout number four. If I click on layout number three, we're going to see our video is going to be uh, vertical the way it should be, and more or less gives you a clear representation of how your subtitles are going to look like in, like when you add them uh, to the video and then post them online and so on and so forth. Now, my only downside is that it kind of feels like the video is off screen, but it's not. So it would be awesome to have like some sort of padding right here, but you can clearly see your video the way it looks like. Now, uh, number four is more or less the same, but now uh, on the other side. So let's stick to layout number three. And then I'll just use uh, the audio to text via whisper, uh, const me to quickly generate some sub subtitles for this. So I'll not do any quality assurance or anything, but this is what we have. And if I actually play this, in this video, you'll notice that we have a ton of text. It's more or less giving you a good representation of how your subtitles are going to look like. But now what we can do here is we can just do some quick splits here. Uh, split this one as well. Mm, let's see, that one looks, doesn't look so bad. Let's split this one. Uh, let's split this one as well. So I think we have some shorter subtitles here now. So we can actually play this. In this video, I'll show you how to add captions to your social media videos, TikToks, Reels, super fast using the script. We're going to be adding emojis, capitalizing certain words that you'd like to capitalize, the Alex Amosi style, and everything that you'd like to see. Stick around to the end, I'll show you how to make this super, super fast. Thanks for watching and let's begin. So it, it kind of looks good. Quickly, uh, you can now see how your subtitles are going to look like if you decide to burn them, if you can, if you decide to change the positioning of the subtitles, change the color, and so on and so forth. So this gives you a better representation. You can always pull this to the side a little bit, and when you pull it, you're going to get that black bar here, and then this one. But that's why I was saying uh, it would be awesome to have some sort of padding over here so that you can see uh, your layout really, really good. But when you're working with vertical videos, this is actually really good because it kind of gives you a clear representation of what to expect once your subtitles are created and burned onto your video and uploaded on Facebook, YouTube Shorts, and so on and so forth. Uh, that's why I feel that this uh, is a game changer because if we go to the default layout, layout one, see what it looks like. Uh, sometimes this uh, gives me a lot of uh, headache when I'm looking at it. But when I'm working with vertical videos, when you look at this, this is going to give you a clear representation of even how much space is being utilized, uh, if it's easily readable and so on and so forth. So I feel that uh, the subtitle edit layouts are really awesome. Hopefully we get some padding here maybe in the future and more or less maybe instead of just a number, we can have some sort of titles or you can actually title this and probably even be able to create your own custom layout. So that's how uh, subtitle edit uh, layouts look like and why I feel they are game changers, especially when it comes to creating uh, subtitles and captions for social media videos. I hope this video is of value to you. Thanks for watching.